7 Steps to Performing Your Own Miracle If you do this, you will not only manifest all your heart desires, you will also perform your own miracles. You will become miracle performer, not actually miracle seeker. The secret of performing your own miracle, which no one will ever tell you, the ideal seven steps, seven actions that will help you to manifest all your heart desires, perform your miracle, and be happy. Do you know that you have the energy, you have the vibration, you have the frequency, and you have the ability to bring into existence everything that you ever longed for, everything you desire. Because if you go to Psalm 82 verses, the Bible says that we are gods. All of us are children of Mosai. And being a God, what does God do? There is no limit to the power of the Almighty. And being that we now have alliance with God, we now have the same grace, the same vibration that Almighty God have, which he gave to us at the creation, where he breathed his breath upon man, he made us to have that same ability to be able to bring into existence all that we ever desire so if only you can follow me to the end of this video i will explain to you seven practical steps you will take in order to bring into manifestation everything you have ever desired so welcome once again to jenny action tv in this particular channel i discuss three important variables which are actually health safety and spirituality believe me if you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life the sky will not be your limit it becomes your starting point if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you're highly welcome please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that youtube will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers i love you so much god bless you for all that you have been doing and God bless you for always sharing and watching the videos. For my new timers, if you are looking for any video, just go to the search button in YouTube. Type Jenny Action TV slash the keyword of the video you are actually looking for and you will get it easily. For example, how to be successful. Just type successful, Jenny Action TV slash successful. You get the video you are looking for, you watch and get lots and lots of value. So without actually wasting your time, let's delve into the video. The first step to bring it into manifestation, all that you ever desire, the first step to making your own miracle, instead of running around to get solution from anywhere, is activating your creative energy where is this your creative energy located it's actually located in your belly how do i know this the bible said in book of john 7 verse 38 out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water let's look at it if you see john chapter 7 verse 38 it says he that believeth on me as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. In other words, believe in God who are inspired the writing of the Bible. And then, that out of your belly, so your creative energy is actually in your belly. In other words, you need to get pregnant with vision. You need to get pregnant with actually that's your intention. What is it that you actually want to manifest let's say for example you wish to manifest money then get pregnant with money then activate your creative energy believing that money will flow to you if and only if you believe if only and only if you know and understand what the bible has said that out of your belly so if you know that it's out of your belly then be prepared to manifest what you want by just getting pregnant with it. Why do you want that money? Do you just want the money to answer a rich person or to touch life? 
Why do you want to get married? You just want to get married to answer a married woman. Like I normally tell you in this channel that answering Mrs. is not the end of pursuit of greatness in a only woman's life. Or you that is a man, why do you want to get married? Do you want to get married to just answer a married man? Or you want to fulfill the mandate of God? You need to get pregnant with the intention. When you get pregnant, when you know that out of your belly, then will flow rivers of living water, then know that you have the capacity to be pregnant with your vision and give birth to it. The second thing that is very, very important is to clear off every negative energies that will hinder you from manifesting. Clear off every doubt. When you want to manifest, you have to connect your spirit, soul, and body and not allowing, like I know it tells you that the human being is made up of tripartite being, the spirit, the soul, and the body not when your body is saying that i need money your spirit is telling you why do you even need the money that uh, your business cannot yield your one million you are looking for how do you think that it's possible that you get one million you see that the economy is bad nobody is buying your goods again you see that even in the office no promotion is coming and you think that you get the money you are not ready to receive you are not ready to perform that miracle i have told you that you can do your own and do God's own. So when you want to manifest or do your own miracle, you be like God. When God wanted to create man, he said, let us create man in his own image. And the question is, who and who is God actually talking to? And that he said, let us. He didn't say, let me. It may be that he was referring to Christ because even in John chapter 1, Bible said in the beginning was the word, the word was God and the word was Christ. may also be that he was referring to the Holy Spirit. The Trinity might also be referring to angels. But to you, if you want to perform your own miracle, let us manifest money. Should be your spirit, soul and body communicating the same thing at the same time. Not your, your body is saying, I need money. Your soul is saying, you don't even have the capacity to get this money. I, or I want to get married. Your soul is telling you, you are already out of age. Nobody will marry you. And then your spirit is now telling you, do you have you forgotten that in your dream, you saw where you never got married. Then you are not ready to manifest your own wife or your own husband. You have to say, let us bring into manifestation in other words your spirit your soul and your body must study together must agree on one thing that i want to manifest this so in other words the first thing you need to get pregnant with vision because out of your belly shall flow rivers of the living water and when you get that pregnant visualization is very important begin to see that thing you want to possess and then see it through your third eye. If you mind, you can close and meditate about it. And then the next thing is that your spirit, your soul, and your body have to agree together that this is possible because you have a God that can do it, that you are not the only one in this, that Almighty God will have to cooperate with your guardian angel, cooperate with the entire universe to deliver what you need. That if it, if it takes sending you a kind of destiny helpers, that my God is capable. That is when you will be able to manifest what do you need? The next thing is script what you want. Write it out. Let's see Habakkuk 2 verse 2 to 7. Habakkuk 2 verse 2 to 7 said, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readed it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So you can read up to verse 7. So what is this place telling us? That vision, that thing you want to manifest, write it out. When you write it out, write the vision and make it plain. You'll be plain. Probably what you are pregnant of that you want to manifest that I want to get married by, let's say, June. Like we are about almost rounding off February. So, because I like I know I told you, God is not a magician. You may not see somebody today today and marry that person today today because you need to know the person you want to marry and so on. So let's assume that the person manifests finally March, April, May, June. By June, you write like this that I want to get married by June. Maybe you pick that June, maybe the day of your birth. You decide to choose your birthday date and say, I'm getting married at this particular 
time and then you write it and write that date correctly write the quality of the man you actually want to get married to like i normally told you that you may not get everything but by the time you write 100 let's say you write 10 things and you're able to see six or seven then you can go ahead so when you write it make it plain you if you don't mind you can actually paste it in your house you can actually paste it where you normally pray each time you come to it you look at it and talk to it do you know that looking at the patriarchal fathers that i normally tell you we are descendants of jacob one of the things that make Jacob wage to always to be very high, in fact, that is where the concept of instructional materials that to today teachers are using come from. Each time he will negotiate with Laba and the father-in-law, and then they will agree that his wage is going to be maybe black goods, black sheep. He will simply script and paint something that looks like black and paint it on the wall. So long as those animals are looking at teeth, it will be reflecting on that thing they are carrying inside, their vision, their child, and they will give birth to exactly the particular wage that he discussed with the, with Laban. They will give birth exactly, if it is black, that Laban said he will be taking, he, they, they, those animals will give birth exactly. If he says speckled, he will give birth to speckled animals. If he say it's going to be white, he will give birth to white if he's spotted. Likewise, these things happen in our real life. Then you are pregnant with this vision that this is what I actually want to manifest. And then you have already cleared old energies that may stop you from manifesting it. Clear your mind. And then even physically, there are certain things. Let's say you wish to have new clothes. And yet you are praying, God, change my wardrobe. Everywhere in your house is littered with clothes you are no longer wearing. That is supposed to either give it away or burn it so that the, the house will be cleared for new things to come in. And then you have not cleared it. It may be difficult. Now, the next thing is to write it down that these are the things I want. You can paste it you, and be looking at it or it's inside your Bible from time to time. Look at it. You talk to it saying that these things will surely come into manifestation. Believe me, while our voice is energy, it carries power. Before you know it, one after the other, you will see those things manifesting. The next thing is this. You need to give God reasons. You need to give universe reasons. You need to give even your guardian angel, Holy Spirit, any forces that is working with you, reason why you need it. Does it mean that you need money so that you show off, so that everybody will know that you have money? Or you need money because you want to touch life? You need money because you have responsibility. They look at the children you need to take care of. You want to get married because God says it's not good for that man to be alone, that you make him a helpmate in order to subdue, dominate, and replenish the earth. Or you just want to get married because others are getting married. You have no reason. If you go to Isaiah chapter 41, verse 21, let's read it. I produce your cause, says the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, said the king of Jacob. That is Isaiah 41 verse 21. You need to give credible reasons why you actually want what you are looking for. When you have given that your credible reasons, believe me, if your reasons is genuine, cogent, God will answer you. For example, I want to get married because you you catch God by his word. Heaven and air might pass away, but his word will never pass. That almighty God you said. That it's not good for that man to be alone. You'll be a help me. I need a companion. I don't want to be alone. I want to subdue. I want to dominate the earth just as you have a kind of odd commanded us. I want to also subdue, replenish the earth. But if you just that you want to get married to just to have fun, you are not thinking of replenishment. You are not thinking of giving birth. You are not thinking of being a helpmate. Because for a woman, for you to be a helpmate to a man, that man is carrying a mission. That is where submission comes. So the mission that this man is carrying, will you fit into it in order to expand that vision, in order to be a real helpmate? If you don't have any cogent reason why you want to get married, but you just want to get married because you want to answer Mrs. Every other person is answering me, sis. Some people have started abusing me and saying, are you father will marry? Or are you not supposed to be in your husband's house? Because the other person insulted me. That's why you want to get married. You may not easily manifest what you are looking for. But if you want to make your own miracle, you must speak vividly and tell God. 
even back it with his word because heaven and earth might pass away, but his word will not pass. That this is why I need what I need. I need this money because you are the one who gave me these children. You said that children are the heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb is this reward. I need to pay their school fees that are already embarrassing them in the school. I need to feed them. If the reasons why you are looking for what you are looking have eternal value, have cogent reasons, and not just I want to have money so that I'll be able to carry the number of women I want, I'll be able to a kind of go to bar and drink, go to parties and, and enjoy life, have fun, you may not actually get it. But when there is cogent reason, I want to expand my business so that I will be a help to humanity, you will actually get it so because i don't want to elongate this video this this point are actually seven in number this is just four if i get enough thumbs up and enough comment in this video i will download the other three to you so please why not give me this thumbs up if you have found value in it and also comment on this video subscribe to this channel if you have not done so hit the bell notification so as to get my next Upload. So thank you once again for stopping by. See your lady Jenny saying bye-bye.